that day alone with dad was that important what were some of the other times like well there wasn't a lot of time with mm. dad you would ask daddy you gonna be home tonight mm -hmm. oh i'd love to be but i can't i've got this meeting i've got that appointment from a daughter's perspective how important is that relationship it's in my opinion the daughter to the father relationship is one of the most important I mean so many things in our lives kind of come from that key relationship what was some stuff you went through that was challenging it was the summer in between my eighth and my ninth grade year I'm trying to figure out who I am to begin with so the church I felt like held me to this pedestal expectation of being John Smith's the pastor's daughter. There was no way that I could have been who they wanted me to be. I internalized everything. Like I didn't tell anybody how I was feeling. I externalized all of my response to it. Heading into my freshman year, I was determined to let everybody around me no, including the people at the church, all of my friends, everybody that saw me, that I was a normal teenager. Um, got very, very heavy into drinking my ninth grade year. And I do think my lowest moment of my entire life was, um, I don't remember exactly what month it was, but I woke up in a bush at three o'clock in the morning, having had no idea where I had been the night before, who I had been with, what was going on. I didn't even know where I was. The cool thing was uh, God stepped in. As somebody that has dealt with a roller coaster of emotions and life and everything and just keep going, just keep trying, you know, and, and be honest, be open, be real, you know. It's a hard thing to do when you're a teenager. It's a hard thing to do when you're a young adult. And with age, that gets easier, you mm -hmm. know, but, um, yeah, just and tell people what's going on with you. Don't keep it all inside.